What's up everybody? This is Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles and I haven't done a video in a while so here's a quick update. Uh, this is probably week eight or so of the breeding season. We're continuing to lower temperatures. Just thought I'd take a video of a couple snakes breeding here. We've seen some ovulations, um, some more breeding activity from all the snakes. So this is kind of what it's going to look like as you go through your breeding season. I do still have some females up here who have not really got follicles, but the males are still trying to breed with them. Um, I'm going to just continue lowering the temperatures. For the snakes that have ovulated, I'm just going to keep an eye on them. I wrote their, their ovulation dates down. This year I happen to get some really big ovulations. Uh, other years, it's more of a slow ovulation. You can kind of see this male here is trying to court the female. He's using the spurs to, to just kind of get the female into the mood, I guess. Um, so this is just kind of a quick video update of what we have going on. Uh, this female in here, she's already ovulated, so she's ready to go. I have another one up on the top up here. She's ovulated. Something that you'll notice when they do ovulate is they'll tend to move to their heat source. Um, so these guys have ovulated and they're in their heat compared to a snake like, let me see here, like this one here. Um, that one's on the heat but isn't really so much concerned with it. Uh, these guys in the back, they're breeding, but a snake that has ovulated is going to be on that heat source, trying to get their, their body up to about an 86 or so. Like this one here, she's, she's probably building follicles, so she's more towards the front of her cage where it's a little bit warmer. You'll notice as they're building, they're sitting on the cooler end of their, of their enclosures, and they really don't want the heat. But once they, they feel that they're ready, they'll go to the heat, and that's what kind of forces the ovulation. So this is going back to... I think the first or second video that I made for you guys explaining not to t not to boost your heat up. Uh, the boosting your heat up will pretty much force an ovulation on your snakes and um, that's not something you want to do specifically if they have not bred yet. So they'll ovulate and they'll do all their own temperatures and they'll do exactly what they need to do when they need to do it. Um, a snake running loose here so I got a snake on the run I'm gonna cut this video here as you see she's going through my racks but um, appreciate you guys tuning in keep following keep subscribing give me some topics and some stuff that you want to hear and we'll keep it going thanks everybody